Hi, in this video of WPF, we will discuss about a new concept called 2D graphics, which is used for making your applications look more interactive. So let's see what is all there in 2D graphics. WPF provides a wide range of 2D graphics which can enhance the application looks. Means it will be used simply to make your application more attractive and obviously we also have the 2D graphics feature in the WinForms but the 2D graphic features which are available in WPF are far more advanced and better than those older ones. All right. So WPF support both drawing, drawing and shape objects that are used for the 2D graphic things. Means you can draw the things, you can put the shapes and you can put some attractive colors like gradient colors which were not available in uh, the previous version of Windows in WinForms. Shape is derived from framework element class. While discussing the architecture, we have already discussed about this framework element class. So when we will be talking about the 2D graphics, we will be working with the shapes. So those shapes will be derived from that particular class. All right. So let's start a practical implementation to see how the 2D graphics can be placed in a WPF application. So as far as the 2D graphics are concerned here, you will find a couple of controls in the toolbox as well, where you can see the ellipse and rectangle are the two controls. You can simply drag them as you work with the normal controls. But here I will use it and the tags like here, I'll put the ellipse. As soon as I'll do that here in the window section, you can see there is an ellipse which is covering the complete window size. Let me put it down. All right, and here you can see there's an ellipse which is covering the whole width and height of this window. But if you want to change it, you can simply put the height and width attribute out here. Like I'll put height as 100 and width as 200. All right, so here is an ellipse with the height 100 and width 200. Now, after that, we have the stroke, like if you want to change the color of the border, so here I'll put let's say blue. So now there is a there is a ellipse out there with the blue uh, border and 100 and 200 as height and width. Now after that, if you want to increase or decrease the width of this uh, or thickness of this line, you can use the attribute called stroke thickness. All right, let's say I'll put four. So you can see it's quite thicker now. I'll keep it two. All right. And if you want to fill something, you can use fill. All right. So if I will choose any color like red, you can see the color is being filled inside. You can use any resource such as any gradient color or something. Uh, but here I'll put something else like here. I'll first put ellipse dot fill. And inside that I will use image brush. So in image brush, I have the attribute called source which in which I'll pass the path of an image like here inside the images folder, I have learn.png. All right. So I'll do the same images slash learn.png. All right. So here you can see this is that image which comes inside like this. So basically you can choose these shapes in order to put some customized image shapes as well. Like if you want some rounded images or ellipse images, you can use these shapes in that particular case. So similarly, we do have the another shape here called rectangle, which is quite simple. Again, when you will put a rectangle, you will have to specify the height and width of the rectangle. All right. If you will put them same, it will be a square as we know. All right. Rest of the things will remain same. Like if you will put stroke, it will be like a green stroke and fill. Again, you can choose any of the things. I'll now put some normal colors like orange or something. So this is how you can put the two different shapes like ellipse and rectangle. Similarly, we do have one more thing called polygon. So polygon is basically which can have multiple sides, right? So you can choose how many sides you want to put here. So I will start polygon with the attribute called points. If you'll put two 
it will be a straight line if you will put three it will be a rectangle it will be put four quadrilateral pentagon hexagon as per your requirement so what i'll do i'll start it with like uh, 50 comma 50 it's first point for me all right so this first one is the x axis then y all right so this is the x now only a single point is there so it will be a point now as soon as i'll put another let's say 120 comma 120 you can see there is a straight line out there in the window all right so this is the straight line this is 50 comma 50 this is 120 comma 120 all right so this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 all right that's why there is a straight line now as soon as i'll put the third point let's say i'll put a space again and then the third uh, point that is let's say i will put it straight so i will not change the value of y i will just change the value of x so i will keep y as 120 but i will change x to 250 all right so you can see now this is a straight line and since it is a polygon so it will join the first and the last point automatically i haven't drawn this line but this is coming implicitly all right but if in the same place I will put polyline, it will not join the first and the last point. All right, that's the difference between the polyline and polygon. So I'll continue with polygon for now. All right, okay. Now there is three points, so you can see there is a triangle. Similarly, if I will add one more, let's say I want to take it up, so I will decrease the value of y to 40 and I will take X move away so I will make it 300 all right so it's something like this okay so it's 300 comma 40 I decrease the value of Y so that's why it's going up all right so that's the way you can change the value all right so if I want to make a pentagon I will put one more point somewhat here all right so for this what I'll have to do I will have to further decrease the value of y all right and i will decrease the value of x as well because i'll have to put it back so let's say i will put it 150 comma 20 all right so let's make it more lesser so it's five okay so now here is a pentagon and now you can simply put the again the same things like stroke if you want to change the color all right similarly you can make the change thickness as we were doing earlier like 3 you can change the color inside by fill all right and again you can put some images in the pentagon shape as well all right so the things will go in the same way as i said if it will not be a polygon if it is a polyline then the first and the last point will not be merged so now if you just want to put a straight line either you can go for a polygon with just two things or you can also put the line so in the line you can put a couple of things like x1 like x1 is 100 comma x1 is 100 y1 is 100 again x2 is 300 and y2 is 100 alright so there is a straight line as you can see out there and again you can change the color and the thickness as we were doing earlier so these are some available options with WPF where you can design the 2D graphics